Hello my friends and welcome back. Recently I shared the following design in our group. It's Freedom 55. It's got two five frames with a woman uh, popping out of one of the five frames. If you want to see how I created this design, stay tuned and I will share it with you every step of the way. All right, so I have my Canva workspace ready and I'm going to search for a five. And here's a five. I'm going to place two five frames on my workspace. So these are frames, meaning that I can put images inside of these frames. So I'm now going to search for a woman standing on a mountain and I'm going to try and find the design or the image that I used in that photo just so that I can try and uh, replicate that design. Okay, and here it is right here. I'm going to make a couple of copies of this and I'm just going to place these to the side. Um, I want to take an opportunity to um, thank you for joining me uh, on this journey and um, just want to mention that I have opened up YouTube memberships uh, for my channel and uh, members uh, who join uh, my channel membership will receive uh, access to my buy me a coffee shop where I have uh, quite a few Canva templates for you to download for free. Um, so if you're interested, please do join. And if you learn anything from this tutorial, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe so that you're first to be notified when new content comes out. So I'm going to take this uh, one of these images here and I'm going to remove the background. And um, I'm going to position it. I'm going to move it by the side so it doesn't drop into that frame and I'm just going to make it larger. Okay, so I want it to um, position it right there at the five. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this image and I'm going to edit it again and apply a shadow. And I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Now you'll notice that the image shrunk a little bit, so I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. Like that, okay? Now I'm going to take one of my images and I'm going to drop it into the five frame, the first one. And I need to reposition this image. So I need to double click on the photo and I'm just going to make it larger and then move it over and place it right on top. Okay, so that that's the first one and now I'm going to do the same for the second one. Now, unfortunately I can't get in there because um, this other image is in front. So I need to move that uh, image, this one to the back so that I can access my five frames. So there we go. So now I'm going to just double click in there again like I did the first one. I'm going to make it larger and I'm going to try and position um, the woman right on top. Like so. Okay, and I'm going to click outside and I'm done. Now, the next thing that I did is I applied a border to my frame. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to apply a white border. And I'm going to do the same to the second one, or I could go to the first one, press the copy style, and then copy the style. And it's just going to copy the style that I applied to the first five. Uh, now, the next thing that I did was I searched for a grunge border. And I tried to find one that was um, chunky, uh, like this one. So. I'm just going to grab this one and I'm going to make it larger like that. Uh, I think I may have used another one. Let me see what else is here. Yeah, I think it 
was this one. So I'll just get rid of that one and I'll put this one here. And I'll just make that larger like that. And um, I'm going to change the color. I want it that color right there, the color of the sky. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the add new color. I'm going to grab the eyedropper and I'm going to um, go over that blue and click it to select it. And so it's tried to match it um, with the color of the sky and that's fine. I'm going to take a copy of this and I'm going to move it to the bottom here and then I'm going to flip it like that. And now I'm going to take these two and I'm going to push them to the back. So I'm going to grab the both of them and I'm going to move them to the back. And so you can still see like the shadow of the woman uh, behind there, which I think is really, really neat. And so what I'm going to do now or what I did next was I added some text. And um, this is the text style that I added. Uh, it was just a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to uh, take this and I'm just going to make it a tad bit smaller. And I'm going to put it right here. And I said freedom 55. did not have 55 here, so that's why it's not fitting. And And then I placed 55 here. do is I'm just going to group these right now. So I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger. Then I grabbed some text and I wrote happy retirement and and for the font I chose I believe it was buffalo for this one here. And so that was the font that I chose. Now, you'll notice it's a little bit hard to read. Um, and so what I did for the font is I applied a, an outline. And for the outline, I chose um, a white outline because I wanted it to appear like it was just, um, like you could see the background of the white. Uh, I, I hope that makes sense. But I did that for um, the happy retirement and I did it as well for the uh, freedom. That way you could read the freedom a little bit better. Um, 
and that is pretty much it my friends so i hope that you did enjoy this tutorial uh, if you did please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be notified when future content comes out for now i will say bye bye my friends until next time